pasensyaan nyo na po, no? Uh, Ganun po ang trabaho ang gabi. Pero, iba. Okay? Lalo trabaho ang gabi, pero iba yung nanaramdaman ko ngayon. Amen. Praise God. So, are you excited? Praise God. If you're excited, please turn your Bible in 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 21. Okay? 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 21. First Kings chapter 18 verse 21 after quote me Samuel okay. are there basahin natin pag-uwi niyo po sa bahay ko basahin po natin to na basahin niyo to mga kapatid okay mga kapatid sino ready to hear the word of God today please raise your hand say lord i'm ready lord i'm ready so mga kapatid you're not saying that to me but you're declaring to God that God will open your hearts and your ears for His word today. Amen? So let's stand up please, all of us. Let's all stand up and let's all read 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 21. And it says here, Then Elijah stood in front of them and said, How much longer will you waver hobbling between two opinions? If the Lord is God, follow Him. But if Baal is God, then follow Him. But the people were completely silent. Hallelujah, Lord. Your word today, O oh God Jesus, is powerful and strong, O oh God Jesus, in our life. And make it manifest in our life today, O oh God. We pray in Jesus, O oh God. Everybody say, Amen. Amen. Praise God. Sige po, makukuna. Hallelujah. Some of you are familiar with this, with this verse or with this person, with this prophet, major prophet, Elijah. Sino po nakarigig na kay Elijah? Okay, may kapatid si Elijah. Sino kapatid ni Elijah? Hindi hey, niya kapatid yun. Kapangalan niya lang. Si Elisha. Pagkatapos ni Elijah, Prophet Elijah, may sumunod sa kanya si Prophet Elisha or Elisha. Okay? Anyway, we're not gonna talk about Elisha, but we're gonna talk the Prophet Elijah. Okay? So, sa pagising natin sa umaga, Sino sa naniniwala po ba tayo that, that, that as a believer of Jesus Christ, we have choices. That God has given us choices every day. Every morning, every day, weeks or minutes, hours in our life, we are given choices. Diba? Pagising sa umaga, meron niya tawag na minor at meron niya tawag na major. Parang chords lang, no? Walang sharp, okay? Walang flat, okay? May major or minor choices that we have. For minor choices, maybe what will be our breakfast for today? Ano breakfast? Cereals or kanin? Diba? Itlog o ham? Bacon or bacon? Okay. Diba mga choices, diba? Diba? Kayo ba yung meron choices sa bahay nyo? Diba? Ako pag uwi ko sa umaga, galit sa trabaho ko, tulad naman ng wife ko, namin, namin, mahal namin na nanay, sabihin, be, anong gusto mong ulam? Diba? May choice. Diba? Diba? As if we have a choices in the cupboard, diba? Sa aming mga grocery, diba? Which is, praise God, diba? Praise God. So, tatanong niya ako doon ang gusto. Diba? You know, th those are the minor choices that we are making every day, diba? Anong susutin natin today? Naka-America na ba o hindi? Naka-black shoes ba? Naka-brown shoes? Naka-slacks, diba? Ano yung planong susutin every day, diba? Or do you make do you make choices? Pakitaas ko yung kamay. Those people who make choices in their life every day. Amen. Amen, di ba? Tama po, di ba? Every day we are making choices. Di ba? Major, major choices that we have to make, of course, one of them is, ano kukunin mo, especially to our young people, what are you going to take in college, in university? Di ba? You are, your parents are giving you choices right now. Di ba? Sa panahon namin, hindi. Ito, hindi na magulang. Ito, kukunin mo. Okay? Mag-nurse ka kasi yan ang magiging Mapalad na buhay, okay? Kahit na gusto mong magsundalo, di ba? Gusto mong magsundalo during that time, pinapasok, gusto mong magpumasok sa PMA, pero sabi ng nanay ko, pumasok ka ng nursing kasi makakapunta ka ng USA at, King, at United Kingdom. Wala ka na doon, no? Yun ang USA at United Kingdom. Pero sabi ko, hiwa ko sana eh. Pero dahil nag-nurse si Jonah, sabi ko, sige, mag-nurse na rin ako. Di ba? Mga kapatid, di ba? To our uh, young people here, you are making choices what do you want to be. Diba? A doctor, a nurse, uh, engineer, computer science, diba? anything that would be a major. 
whatever your choices in your life right now will impact your life later. Tama po ba, kapatid? Pag sa umaga pa lang, pumili ka na, kumain ka na ng gata. Sa umaga, nung ibig sa breakfast pa lang, umaga pa lang, umaga umaga, empty yung chan mo. Katagad. Later on, will impact. Di ba? May impact. Totoo po ba, mga kapatid? The same thing in our life. If you wake up in the morning and you don't have any choices to follow Jesus Christ, then there will be an impact throughout the day. Your day will be gloomy. Your day will be a lot of problems. You will be a lot of troubles. Napapansin niyo po ba yan, mga kapatid? Natry niyo po ba? Diba? Pag umaga pa lang, pag-isip mo, okay, kuha ka ng cellphone at i-check ang notification, i-check kung ano yung mga updates. Diba? Diba? Pakikita natin, pag i-isip mo sa umaga, yun na lang ang lagi. Ay, hindi ako nilike, hindi ako ano, diba? At sama ng loob. Pero pag-isip mo lang ng umaga, diba? Ang Panginoon, agad ang pinapasalamatan mo, Lord, I'm, I'm choosing to follow you today. Okay? We are making choices, yes. We are a believer of Jesus Christ. Again, please pakitaas po ang kamay ng mga anak at manin at mananapalatay ng Panginoon. Mga kapatid, ito, no? sabihin natin, no? Pastor, we are a believer of Jesus Christ, so why do we have made choices every day? Diba? Why do we have made choices every day? It is, we don't know what's gonna happen for you and me. To you and me, every day, in the morning, the next morning, hindi natin alam. That's why every morning you have to make a choice as Lord, I'm gonna follow you today. Make your revelation in my life today. Amen? Every day po mga kapatid. Diba? Every day, we make choices. When we open our eyes and when we close our eyes, we have choices. Diba? God has not uh, taken all those uh, the choices that uh, God tayo kumahal ng Panginoon. Meron pa rin tayo mga pagpipilian choices. Amen? Mahirap mga kapatid kapag dalawa ang pinagpipilian. Diba? Tapos parehas na, uy mo okay to ah. Diba? Meron nga isang aklat, uh, si Charles Stanley, I believe. Or yung, ang, yung anak ni Charles Stanley, there's a book saying, God, good, or God? Which one are you going to choose? Good or God? Diba? If you're going to read that book, diba? May, parang ang hirap pamilya, parang good naman yun eh. Or God. Amen? Sa ating verse for today, it says here, Then Elijah stood in front of them and said, How much longer will you waver, hobbling between two opinions? If the Lord is God, follow him but if baal is god then follow him but the people were completely silent okay during this time of elijah okay si haring ahab po ang namamahala dito sa sa panahon nito nagkaroon ng problema at ang panginoon ay galit na galit sa mga israelites sa mga lugar nito at may plano pa kanoon na sila ay gutumin okay So sabi ng sabi ni King Ahab kay, kay Obadia, which is a, a, a palace administrator, no? a devout believer of Jesus Christ, nakita niya, sabi ni King Ahab kay Obadia, kay Obadia, Obadia okay, sabi niya, no? pakihanap mo si Elijah. Kasi in the verse 17, there is a drought. Okay, if you're going back in verse 17, in verse 1, it says here, Now Elijah, who was from Tishbe, in Gilead, told King Ahab, As surely as the Lord, the God of Israel, lives, the God I serve, there will be no dew or rain during the next years until I give the word. Diba? Ganon ka-powerful, ganon ang faith, ganon ka-powerful ang relationship ni Elijah sa Panginoon. So during that time, diba, he's, he's giving them choices. Diba? During that time, there will be a hundred prophets left. Okay? There's a hundred prophets left. Dahil to si King Ahab at kanyang asawa, si Jezebel, ay pinapapatay ang lahat ng mga prophet para hindi malaman. Okay? But si Obadiah, tinago niya ang 50 sa kamilang bundok at 50 sa kamilang bundok. Okay? If you're going to read this one. So, ang nangyari, ang pagkakalam ni Elijah ay siya na lang ang natitira. Di ba sabi natin, no? Alam natin, pag mas marami, mas okay. During this time, in chapter 18, pinatawag ni King Ahab ang kanya mga prophet of Baal. Okay? Yung mga propeta ni Baal. Okay? Narinig nyo ba yung Baal? Baal. Di ba? Baal. Baala na. Di ba? Baala na. Di ba? Yun yun eh. Di ba? Baala na. Baala na si Lord. Di ba? During that time, meron 450. Okay? Or up to 850 na prophet si, si Baal, okay, na pinalabas si King Ahab. Pero nag-iisa versus Elijah. 
Okay? So in verse 21 says here, sabi ni Elijah dito, no? How much longer will you waver hobbling between two opinions? If the Lord is God, follow Him. But if Baal is God, then follow Him. But the people were completely silenced. Mamaya malalaman natin, bakit tahimik ang mga tao? Bakit tahimik? So again, in our life, we are making choices. Nakakita na kayo nito. Nakakita nyo na yan everyday sa buhay nyo. Okay? Diba? Ano ba yung gagawin ko? Ano ba yung susutin ko? Black or white? Diba? Or white or black? Diba? Yun yung mga damit ko, diba? White or black? Or black or white? Okay? Diba? Sa mga choice sa buhay natin, ano yung plano nyo? Diba? Especially as a believer of Jesus Christ, as a Christian, which path are you going to take? Which is, is it right or left? Diba? Nandun na sa word eh. Is it right or wrong? Is it right or left? Diba? Minsan hindi natin alam. For so many months, for so many uh, weeks, diba? may gumugulo sa aking isipan. Which path to take? Magiging doktor ba ako? Magiging nurse ba ako? Magiging ispindalo ba ako? Okay. Which path to take? Diba? This way or this way, mga kapatid? Diba? Kaya sabi ko na kanila sa po, oh, ang sarap. Diba? The freedom in the Lord. Amen? So dito, no, sa pag-aaral natin ngayon, sa sabi ni Elijah, how much longer will you waver between two opinions? Mga kapatid, I believe that this is that the word of the Lord will not go in vain to us today. Sabi ko, Lord, kung sino man, kung gano'n man karami ang nandoon, maaaring isa o dalawa, Lord, I'll still continue with your message for today. Actually, to tell you the truth, the full message that I've prepared for this today is not this one, but it's called the full potential. Okay? But during this week, I said, the Lord speak to me. The Lord says, speak this one to you and to all of you. Amen? So in here, Elijah demand for a decision. Okay? Sinasabi niya sa mga tao. Okay? At Mount Carmel. Ina, nandun sila, no? Imagine natin, no? During the time, ito yung, ito yung panahon na mag-aapoy, paapapuyin. Okay? We're not going through there, okay? But during this time, sabi niya, kung kayo, kung ang si Baal ay Panginoon, ay totoong Diyos, sige, hayaan natin mag-apoy yan. Okay? Meron preparation, may nilagay na bull, okay, na, ma- na apoy. Kung si Lord, kung Baal ay, ay talagang Panginoon, papaapuyin niya yan. Okay? And then, kailangan niya ganun din. If my God is God, then this preparation will will put into fire. Magkakaroon ng apoy. Okay? So during that time, Elijah demand for a decision. So the question right now, we, you and I, we have to make decision. Okay? How much longer will you waver between two opinions? Ano yung ba yung sabihin ng waver? Hindi po ito yung ano ah, hindi ito yung waver kapag hindi ka nang bayad. We waver or uh, you wave na yung pin. No? Iba yon. W-I-V-E yon. Ito ay wave. Parang sa dagat may waves. Diba? Sabi nga in James chapter 1 verse 5, 6, 7, 8 diba? Huwag tayong pabago-bago ng pag-iisip diba? If you ask wisdom from God, believe that God will give it to you diba? Huwag natin isipin na hindi yata ako bibigyan ko ano O oh, bibigyan yata ako o oh, hindi yata diba? Make one decision, a full, complete, genuine decision to follow the Lord Okay? So another meaning, another meaning of waver or wavering Okay, if you're going to look at it, it's like limping. Okay? Para imagine natin, no? Limping. Okay? Wavering, hindi pantay. Iika-ika. Okay? Yung isang paa, maaari isang paa is nasa gold. Yung isang paa ay nasa, nasa, ay hindi okay. Okay? Limping. Okay? Ito yung mga tao na will use crutches. Kasi, di ba, pag pilay, nakita nyo, merong gamit na saklay. Para medyo pumunta ng lakad. Para medyo okay. Para may support na. Today, mga kapatid, let the Lord declare clear to you and me about our decision in life. Amen? So, pagkaralan natin kung ano ba yung anong sinasabi dito ni, ni Elijah. Okay? Meron pong apat tayong pagkaralan dito in 1 Kings 18, verse 21. Again, basahin natin ito ito. How much longer will you waver between two opinions? If God, if the Lord is God, follow Him. If Baal is God, then follow Him. Okay? Ito po, no? Clearly, sinasabi ni, ni Prophet Elijah dito, 
Kung si Baal ay God, then follow Him. But if the Lord is God, then follow Him. Okay? The same thing sa buhay natin. Okay? The same thing po sa buhay natin. So, number one, pag-aralan natin, number one, makikita natin dito ay the problem. Okay? What is the problem? Ano yung problema? Nagiging problema sa bawat buhay ng isang kristyano, sa bawat buhay ng tao. Ang problema, merong dalawang opinions. Diba? Sa bahay, kapag dalawa ulo, ang hirap mag-decide. Tama po ba? Diba? Sa, pami- sa pamilya, diba? Mag- pag ang mag-asawa, hindi, mag- hindi mag-isa ang, ang decision, ang hirap. Magkukulan ang magkukula ng mga anak. Saan ba talaga tayo? Mag-grocery tayo, pupunta tayo dito sa park. Diba? Sabi ng, ng, ng parents, ng nanay, mag-grocery mo tayo. Sabi ng tatay ako, sige, mag-grocery na tayo. <laughs> diba? Diba? Ang hirap po mga kapatid kapag mayroong two opinions. Okay? Diba? Sa bahay, saan man, diba? If there's two opinions, especially sa bahay. So the problem, wavering between two opinions. Okay? There's hesitation between two opinions. Sabi nga natin, oh, hindi malinaw. Hindi malinaw sa mga tao nito kung bakit meron silang dalawang opinion. Okay? Kung matatanda natin, ito ay mga ito ay mga Israelite, ito ay mga Israelite din. Okay? Pero ang nangyayari, naniniwala sila sa Panginoon, they are believing in God. Yes, they are. And we are believing in God. Amen. Do we believe do, do you and I believe in God? Amen, Amen di ba? However, pag may dumadating yung circumstances sa buhay natin, minsan napapaisip tayo Lord, ito muna ako. Diba? But I believe in you. Okay? But there are circumstances sa buhay natin na sa tingin ko tama rin naman to Lord eh. Ito muna ako. Diba? Naguguluhan. Diba? During the time, the people, naguguluhan po sila. Diba? Kasi pag hindi naguguluhan sila dahil kapag ang decision nila ay mali, sila ay papatayin. Diba? Ngayon sa buhay natin, how is your decision in your life to follow Jesus Christ? Okay? If there's an unsteadiness, okay, yung pabago-bago, unsteadiness, okay, or due to undecided mind, okay, pag undecided pa tayo, di ba, hindi natin malaman ang full potential or yung plano na pakanoon sa buhay natin. Di ba? It's like a person who limbs hesitates between steps. Di ba? Kung pilay tayo, di ba, parang ang hirap maglakad, parang di ko alam kung nakakba ko ba, yung okay na, yung okay ba na pa ako ba, o yung bad, bad faith. Diba? I believe, I remember when I was in nursing, it's saying there, go down with the bad, go up with the good. Is that right? Go up with the good, okay, with the good with the good leg, but go down with the bad leg. Okay? So, minsan, okay, sa so buhay natin, it's like a hesitation between steps. Okay? Pag meron hesitation sa steps natin, sa pagfollow sa Panginoon, then, there will be Distraction or kaguluhan sa buhay. Okay? Unsteadiness due to undecided mind. It's like a double-minded okay, person or commitment. Sabi natin no, two weeks ago, there's a message from the Lord uh, uh, brought by Brother Gary about servant or volunteer. Sabi ko sa inyo mga kapatid, during that time, natutunaw na ako dito. I was melting here. Okay? Natutunaw na ako dito. Di ba? Sabi ko, hiyang-hiya na ako sa sarili ko. During that time, hiyang-hiya na ako sa sarili ko. All of a sudden, I thought that I'm a servant, but I'm not a servant. I am a volunteer. Di ba? During that time, the Brother God is de- uh, uh, declaring that, okay, during that time, si Brother God at ako, di ba? During that time, tunaw na tunaw na ako dito. Sabi ko, hindi pala ako. God revealed to me, hindi pala ako servant ng Panginoon. Ako pala ay volunteer. Why volunteer? Because of the commitment that I have to follow God. The commitment and the choices that I'm going to follow you, Lord. In everyday choices that we have. Okay? Sabi nga, no, if that's not 100%, if it's 99, that's not 100%. If it's 99.9, diba? Still not 100% commitment to follow, to serve God. Diba? But sabi natin, this time, sabi ko nga, no, Lord, I would like to speak about the full potential of the blessing that we have in you. But the Lord says, no, speak this to you. Sa akin po, no? sabi ko, Lord, ang sakit naman. Diba? Mga kapatid, bago ito dumating sa inyo, ito ay sa akin. I'm telling you the truth. Sabi ko nga, if the preacher is really courageous to speak the word of God, ito ay nagsisimula sa kanya muna bago ilabas. Sabi ko, Lord, 
ang sakit Lord. Pero I have to speak this. Pero sabi ko nga, there is freedom. Di ba? The truth will set you free. Di ba? Sabi ko kanina hapon nasa likod, Lord, ang sarap. When you're declaring, okay, when you're declaring about the truth in God, there is freedom. And I'm declaring to you, mga kapatid, during that time, I'm not a servant. I thought I was. I thought I'm giving 95%. I thought I'm giving 98%. But during that time, I was here all along, two weeks ago. I was messing. Gusto ko na pumuwi. Diba? Nahihiya, nahihiya na ako. Pero the Lord, don't condemn me. But encourage me to move forward, to make choices, to make step forward. Okay? Because you you and I are in Christ. You are not in condemnation anymore. Okay? Maring kaaway, sabihin sa'yo, no? Ah, you are not worthy. Diba? Tagal mo na dyan, ganyan ka pa rin pala. Diba? But I declare, Lord, I decided... I will make a decision to follow you every day. Make a decision to follow Jesus every day so you and I will not forget about it. We will not be covered. We will not be covered by the last of the world. Diba? So, minsan nag-uwan tayo between two opinions. Serve or volunteer. Diba? Katulad yung sabi ni Brother Gary during that time last week. Okay? Katulad natin ngayon, mga kapatid, no? Like us now, we are a believer of Jesus, but due to the pulling of this word, of this word, okay? Yung mga plano, yung mga bagay of this word, last of this word, we are somewhat, some way, pulled into different direction. Totoo po ba, mga kapatid? You and I will know, will know it. You and I will know if you are stepping out of the box, if you are stepping out of the will of the Lord in your life. You and I know it. But if you're not going to declare, Lord, I'm sorry. You will then, hindi, hindi mo malalaman kung ano yung direction na para sa'yo. We may go to church Sunday, mga kapatid. We may always be here every Sunday, Bible study, prayer meeting, lahat nandun present. Okay? But there is no full commitment to follow God. It will be nonsense. Ito sa sa mga kapatid. It doesn't matter you are present every Bible study. But in the house, you are not walking as a child of God. It will be nonsense. We may go to church Sunday, but the rest of the week, we are dominated by the other loves, concern, and commitment of the world, mga kapatid. Okay? We may go every Sunday, but we are dominated by other loves of the world, other concerns of the world, and our mindset or commitment to the world. We absolutely feel God's calling us to serve, which is true. Yes, you and I, I believe. God is speaking to you, you and I, to serve. The calling of God is not for you to become a pastor, to become evangelist, missionary, teacher's prophet, but God is calling for us to serve Him. That is the calling. And at the same time, the love of the world, which is true, brothers and sisters, our people are just quiet. Diba? Toto po yan. Kapag mainit tayo sa Panginoon, ganun din kainit ang kaaway sa buhay natin. Hindi, umatras ka dyan, dito ka, dito ka. It's like a fan, para electric fan po. No? Nakita yung electric fan, yung umikot. Okay? Diba? Mas maganda pala yung electric fan na focus. Diba? Yung electric fan na umikot, left and right. Hindi natin malaman. Diba? Habulong pa electric fan. Ano yun? Si Lord, habulin tayo. Nasa ka anak? Nandito ka. Nandito ka. Mga kapatid, in Matthew chapter Matthew chapter 6, verse 24 says here, No one can serve two masters, for you will hate one and love the other. You will devote it to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and be slave to money. Okay? You cannot slave, you, can, you cannot serve God and be slave to money. Okay? Yung pair dito will symbolize not only the money, but also other gods. Okay, minsan kasi, no, kaya itong money to sinasabi dito, no, we are thinking money as God. But not only the money, but there are some things in our life that we are created. We creating gods in our life. Tama po ba? Sometimes we ourselves, we are God in our life. Diba? Tayo mismo, hindi, I will make my own way. And that's what we call my way. Diba? My way, Lord. Half-hearted to the Lord leads to real community to real no commitment at all. 
kapag kalahati lang ang paglilingkod natin sa Panginoon or yung puso natin para sa Panginoon, Lord, I'm here, send me. Pag kalahati lang, sabi ko nga na during that time, Lord, nakakaya. And I'm telling you the truth, brothers and sisters, nangyayari po sa lahat yan. Okay? Nangyayari yan. I was talking to Brother Gary, sabi ko Brother Gary, Bro, I'm feeling that the anointing of the Lord is out of me. Diba? Sabi ko, if I'm the pastor, the anointing is out of me. And I was joking to Brother Gary, I said to him, Bro, I think the anointing goes to you. Hindi, hindi para ipasa ang pagiging pastor, kundi yung anointing na sinasabi, the anointing of the Lord. All who have ears, mga kapatid, let them hear what the Lord is saying to you and I. In Matthew chapter 12, verse 30 says here, Anyone who isn't with me opposes me. And anyone who isn't working with me is actually working against me. Mga kapatid, ika nga, no? He who does not gather with God scatters. Mari sabihin nyo, Pastor, ang konti na po natin, nawawala na ba mga kapatiran? I believe it is the Lord who will brought everyone together again. It is not I, it is the Lord God who will brought everyone together again in His time, in His will. In James chapter 1, verse 5 to 8, sabi dito, no? If you need wisdom, ask our generous God and He will give it to you. He will not rebuke you for asking. In verse 6, mga kapatid, mahalaga po, no? But when you ask Him, be sure that your faith is in God alone. Do not waver for a person with divided loyalty is as, as unsettled as a wave of the sea that is blown and tossed by the wind. Such people should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Their loyalty is divided between God and the world and they are unstable in everything they do. Mga kapatid, minsan nagtataka tayo, no? Lord, bakit I have faith in you? First of this month, we're talking about faith in God. We're talking about faith to serve. Diba? Sometimes, nagtataka tayo, bakit hindi naririnig ng panahon ng ating panalangin, ng ating pananampalataya? Because your faith is wavering. Diba? Or maybe your, maybe this today, your your faith is on, on, on God, but your faith is on the other. Other God. So sabi, but when you ask him, be sure that your faith is in God alone. In God alone. Do not waver for a person with divided loyalty is as unsettled as a wave of the sea. Okay? Their loyalty is divided with, between God and the world and they are unstable in everything they do. Undecided man is dangerous position, mga kapatid, brother and sister. It is a dangerous position. Ang hirap mag-move. Di alam kung saan. Ano, saan nga ba tayo? Kaliwa, kanan, atras, abante. Ang hirap, mga kapatid. So ask God. Make a choice every day. Make a choice. Make a move. If you're going to follow God, then follow Him completely. If you're going to follow other gods, then follow Him completely. We're not saying here that you have to follow God. If you have other gods in your life, follow them. But if God, if the Lord is God in your life, who's providing, who's provision, who's giving you peace, joy, and everything, the fruit of the Spirit, then God, that is God. Amen? Undecided mind or believer should not expect anything from the Lord. Number two, mga kapatid, question, may tanong si Elijah dito, how long, how long you and I are going to waver? How long you and I how long you and I are going to waver between two opinions? Mari sabihin nyo, Pastor, Pastor, wala naman kaming dalawang desisyon. Our, our commitment to follow God is 100%. It is you and the Lord who knows it. It is you and the Lord. It is me and the Lord who knows it. How long? Diba sabi dito, how much longer will you waver hobbling between two opinions? Una, nakita ni Elijah ang problema. Ang problema because there's two opinions. Pangalawa, there is ang tanong na ngayon, how long you and I will going to waver? Okay? You and I. Sabi natin, no? kapag kalooban ng Panginoon, makikita mo yung blessing ng Panginoon tuloy-tuloy. Makikita mo ang blessing ng Panginoon 
nag-smooth fluid sa buhay natin. Kasi yun ang kalooban ng Panginoon. Pero pag kalooban natin, minsan fluid, pero ang hirap. Diba? Sabi nga doon in Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22, the blessings of the Lord will not cause worry. Kung pangyayon ang pagpapahalang Panginoon, dapat you will not cause worry in your life. But if it's cause worriness in your life or guiltiness in your life, merong mali. Hindi yan galing sa Panginoon, kapatid. If every blessing that you receive, there is a guilty or worriness in your life, hindi galing sa Panginoon yan. Okay? The blessings of the Lord should be freely, malaya, maluwag tanggapin. Diba? Blessing man o pagpapahalo man, maluwag yan. Amen? Sometimes our choices every day, if we are satisfied, kasi kalooban ng Panginoon. If, if feel natin parang empty, parang kulang pa rin, kasi hindi kalooban ng Panginoon. Diba? Narar- na- naramdaman nyo po ba yung mga kapatid? How long? Diba? Ano ba yung dapat na panggising? Minsan, no? Minsan, may ginagamit ng Panginoon ang disiplina. Sabi natin, no? ipagpasalamat natin ang every blessings and every discipline that we are receiving from the Lord. Hindi lang puro, pagpa, hindi lang puro pagpapala. Every discipline that we are disciplined by the Lord. Okay? It says here in Hebrews chapter 12, okay? Chapter 12, verse 11 to 15, it says here, No discipline is enjoyable while it is happening. It is painful, but afterward, there will be a peaceful harvest of right living for those who are trained in this way. So take a new grip with your tired hands and strengthen your weak, weak knees. Mark out a straight fat path for your feet so that those who are weak and lame will not fall but become strong. Those who are weak and lame will not fall but become strong. Diba? Minsan, mga kapatid, sa buhay natin, right now, as a believer of Jesus Christ, sabihin natin, no, merong pagsubok, mga pagsubok, diba? merong mga trials. Sabi ko nga, no, sabi nga, no, ang trials, hindi lahat ito nanggagaling sa Panginoon. Ang trials ay nanggagaling din because of our own. Diba? Sabi ko nga, no, kung nag-smoke ka before, then you will you will inherit it. Okay? If you spoke 40 years ago, 30 years ago, expect mo, diba? by 60 years, Okay? If you if you abuse yourself, diba? if you are doing inappropriate things in yourself a while before, later you will experience it. Magugol ka, bakit ako nagkaroon? Diba? Because you did something wrong. The discipline of the Lord, okay? how long? Minsan, dinidiscipline na tayo ng Panginoon. Ngayon ang tanong, how much God discipline would you endure? Would you and I endure? before you and I realize the way of life you choose was not working. Minsan mayroon tayong mga desisyon sa buhay natin, akala natin okay, pero minsan mali. At nalalaman natin, na-realize natin, mali yung desisyon ko. Diba? Nalalaman natin, nababatid natin, mali ang desisyon. There are circumstances that God is speaking to us, giving us an alert status. Minsan, ina-alert na tayo ng Panginoon, minsan tuloy pa rin tayo. Okay? May disiplina na sa buhay natin, tuloy pa rin tayo. Okay? Ngayon, mga kapatid, what now? Okay? When we depend on our own means of Christian living, we become quick. Again, when we depend on our own means of Christian living, bilang isang anak ng Diyos, we become weak. We are like a person who is lame because the joint is out of the socket. Okay? Minsan kaya, kaya ikay ka, no? kasi yung socket ay hindi, wala sa wala sa pinakasakit ng joint. Yung joint, no? Meron sakit yan para doon umikot. Pag wala sa sakit, minsan ang hirap maglakad. Ganun din po tayo. Pag wala sa kaloob ng Panginoon, ang hirap sa buhay natin. You and I know, know it. Alam nyo yan, mga kapatid. We need to allow the Lord to bring healing, His strength into our life by resting in His means. Hindi po tayo. Okay? Tanong again, mga kapatid, how long will you and I will endure His discipline before we wake up. Ito na pala, kinakatok na pala ako ng Panginoon. Tama na yan, tama na, tama na, tama na. Ito ang sundin mo, kapatid. Anak, ito ang sundin, sundin mo. Number three, there's an issue here. Okay, sabi, sabi, ni, sabi ni, ni Elijah, if God, if the Lord is God, follow Him. If Baal is God, follow Him. The word if, the issue here is the if. Okay? Sa buhay natin, if. Eh, kung, di ba? Anong tagal ng if? Kung. Kung. Di ba? 
kung sakali, kung, eh kung, eh kung, eh kung yun ang kalooban, eh kung yun ang kalooban, di ba? Undecided. Eh, eh kung yun ang kalooban, if, okay? If the Lord is God, follow Him joyfully, with satisfaction. Tama? But if Baal, sabi natin, no, yung Baal sa sabi dito, oo, oh, as a believer Jesus Christ, we don't have gods or image of God in our house. Tama po ba, mga kapatid? Sabi natin, no, pastor, wala lang kaming God sa bahay namin eh. Tama. Wala tayong, wala tayong mga Diyos Diyosan sa bahay natin, but we are creating Diyos Diyosan in our life. Diba? We are creating ourselves. We are creating something in our life. A God on top of God. Diba? We should not making any other gods. Diba? If God, if the Lord is God, which is He is, then follow Him. Not as part-timers or playing around. Sabi ko nga, no, I was guilty. Okay? I was guilty that I thought I'm following God 100% or 98%. Hindi pala. Mali. Diba? So sabi nga na pa kanon, make a decision now. If you're going to follow God, follow Him. Ang resulta po, no, ang resulta, okay, <clears throat> sabi ni sa verse John, chapter 2, verse 15 to 17, Do not love this world, nor the things it offers you. For when you love the world, you do not have the love of the Father in you. For the world offered, offers only a craving for physical pleasures, a craving for everything we see, and a pride in our achievements and possessions. These are not from the Father, but are from this world. And this world is fading away along with everything that people crave. In other versions, it is the last of the flesh, the last of the eye, the last of the world. Minsan ang hirap mag-follow kasi nandito na yung last of the flesh, the last of the world, the last of the eye. Di ba? Minsan ang hirap, may dalawang decision na, good or God. O okay naman ang good eh. Why not follow God? Di ba? Sabi dito, for the world offers only a craving for physical pleasures. A craving for everything we see and a pride in our achievements and possessions. These are not from God but are from this world. Ano po ang resulta kapag tayo, makikita natin, no? if, you are, if you are following the true and living God, we will see the fruit in following Him. Ano po ang resulta? There is life, there is blessing, there is peace, or the fruit of the Spirit in our life. There is the manifestation in our life. But we, if we are in the wrong way, if we are following, if we are obeying other gods in our life, I mean other gods, huwag na, huwag na isipin yung mga rebulto, alam nyo yan, mga kapatid, kung ano yung other gods in your life. I believe the Holy Spirit is speaking to you. Anak, you, I think you are making this God in your life. You are making this time as God in your life. You are making this commitment as time in your life. You are making this as God. Or, nasa na ang, nasa na ang lugar ng Panginoon? The result is curse. There will be death and destruction. Minsan nagkataka tayo, bakit ang buhay ng Kristiyano ay napapaliwala? Bakit ang buhay ng Kristiyano will go going to death? Or bakit ang buhay ng isang Kristiyano will go into destruction because he is following other gods in his life? Number three, mga kapatid, silence. Okay. But the people were completely silent. Sabi ko nga, no, during that time, during this time, okay, I was completely silent. Di ba, ang mga anak natin, pag may ginawang kasalanan, anong, anong, pag, di ba, tahimik. Sino may kasalanan, makikita mo mga anak, tahimik. Di ba, parang masang sisyo. Not only mga anak, pati mga asawa, mapapababae o mapalalaki. Pag ang, ang asawang lalaki may kasalanan, tahimik. Pag ang babae asawa may nagpulang na plancha o na mali, tahimik din, sorry nalaban na lagyan ng crown of sorry. Diba? Tahimik. In short, diba, kapag totoo, tahimik, I was, I was, meron ako usap mga nakarambuan and I was completely silent or silent. Okay? Hindi ako nakapagsalisa kasi sabi ko, totoo ko. Okay? Huwag isipin na si Pastor, nagiging unfaithful yata, may babae yata, hindi ko yun. Okay? okay? I was completely silent to the person that I was talking to. He is higher than me. I was completely silent. 
Sabi ko, totoo. Totoo, Lord. But the people were completely silent. Kilala niyo si Job? Diba? During that time, si Job, kung akala natin, ang, ang bait, oh, 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 ang bait ni Job, no? Pero during that time na napuno na siya, napuno na ang salo, nagalit. Diba? Nagmalaki. Sabi niya, sabi niya sa Panginoon, bakit? Diba? Nagmalaki sa Panginoon. Diba? Of his achievements. Nag- nagalit. Diba? If you're going to read Job, ang ganda ni story ni Job, no? Yung kanyang pananglataya, no? Pero in the later part, Okay, in verse 39, 40, makikita natin, no? or 35, 36, no? makikita natin, nagalit, sabi niya, no? bakit mo ginawa yan? Bakit, bakit, bakit? Nagalit ang Panginoon. Diba? And God responded with His mighty, with His sovereign power, sabi ng Panginoon, bakit? Sino ba ang nag-create? Who created the world? Diba? And Job completely silent. Sabi niya, I am nothing. How could I ever find the answers? I will cover my mouth with my hand. Job was completely silent. Mga kapatid, merong, bu- merong pa- parte sa buhay natin na alam natin that God is speaking to us and we are completely silent. May isang tahimik na tayo. Diba? Kasi alam natin tama. Alam natin tama. There is no argument. If we are obeying God, if we are following God, there is no argument. But if we are not following God, the Holy Spirit, okay, nalulungkot sa buhay natin. If you and I have the Holy Spirit of God, nalulungkot. Okay? And God, the Holy Spirit is speaking to us. Diba? Minsan, ang Holy Spirit na lang natatahimik sa buhay natin kasi hindi natin pinapakinggan. There's, we are torn between God and the world. If God is God, ito nga mga kapatid, no? sabi ko sa, sa aking may bahay, if God is God, then follow God. But if other God in our life, if we are created, if we created other God in our life and we think that God, okay, our support are going to support us, then follow Him. However, there is destruction. Ika nga natin, there's destruction, there's a curse, there's a death. Okay? Iba ang buhay na isang kristyano. If you are going to walk in Christ, yung iba ang magiging buhay, iba ang takbo ng isang kristyano. Amen. And lastly, mga kapatid, that's the last. Silence. I would like to encourage everyone, mga kapatid. As I've said to you, there are decisions or there's no argument that would make sense against our total commitment, service, or servanthood of our lives to follow the Lord. Ang tanong, no, I'm not going to force you, brother and sister, I'm not going to force you to follow God. I'm not going to force you either to follow your other God if you have other God created in your life. And then I'm just going to leave you a question. What do I want in following God? Why do I want it? How do I get it? Diba? What do I want to follow God? What do I want? We, want? we would like to follow God. Elijah is telling us, follow God. Why do I want it? Any other decision to follow except from God is nonsense. Any other decision except from following God is nonsense. There is total emptiness of life without genuine, complete commitment in Him. Mga kapatid, ito po ito. We are not going to follow God completely if we are, haven't re- realized or recognized that through God, Jesus Christ, is what He, is what he did in, a, in our life. For all He has done in our life, we cannot completely follow Him. When you and I come to realize the Lord Jesus, what the Lord has done to you and I, we will completely just freely following Him. Alam natin, ito yung ginawa ng Panginoon sa buhay ko, He is God. Tuloy nga na, He is Lord. Minsan nalalaman natin that He is God because we know that there's a miracle, there's a blessing. That's the only time. Sometimes, yun ang nangyayari. We are, we are, we are recognizing that the Lord is God. Totoo nga, no? Ang Panginoon talaga nag-provide. Okay? Paano? Pag sa panahon na hindi nag-provide ang Panginoon, bahad mo na ako sa iba. I will consider my own ways. Brother and sisters, I'd like to read this one, please. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 19 to 21, it says here, Don't store up treasures here on earth. 
where moth eats them and rust destroys them, and where thieves break in and steal. Store your treasures in heaven where, where moths and rust cannot destroy, and thieves do not break in and steal. Whatever your treasure is, there's the desires of your heart will also be. Again, mga kapatid, wherever your treasure is, there is the desires of your heart will also be. Hindi ko po alam, kapatid, kung ano yung decision nyo. Hindi nyo rin alam, mga kapatid, kung ano yung decision ko or choices. But God is telling us, make a decision right now, kapatid. Make a decision. Lastly, I would like to read this one to you in Joshua chapter 24, verse 14 to 15. Some of you have these verses in your houses. Meron po kami ito sa bahay namin. Diba? Joshua 24, verse 15, which is kind of familiar to all Christian houses. In verse 14, sabi dito, So fear the Lord and serve Him wholeheartedly. Put away forever the idols your ancestors worship when they live behind the Euphrates River and in Egypt. Serve the Lord alone. Put away forever the idols. In verse 15, mga kapatid, But if you refuse to serve the Lord, but if you and I refuse to serve the Lord, then choose today whom you will serve. Would you prefer the gods your ancestors served beyond the Euphrates? Or will it be the gods of the Amorites in whose land you now live? Minsan, as, as a family, we are declaring this, right? But as for me and my family, we will serve the Lord. Diba? Let's declare it. Truly in our hearts. But as for me and my family, we will serve the Lord. And again, serving, being a servant, is not a volunteer. It's not only when you are available. It's not only when you have free time, but completely. Sabi ko again, during that time, ako ito na na to na na. Sabi ko, hindi pala ako servant. But I declare to the Lord that I will make a follow, I will follow you. Lastly, mga kapatid, but if you refuse to serve the Lord, choose today whom you will serve. Brothers and sisters, let's close our eyes. Hallelujah. It says here in Matthew chapter 6, verse 21, again, brothers and sisters, whatever your treasure is, there's the desires of your heart will also be. Lord, O oh God, Jesus, we are, we are acknowledging, O oh God, Jesus, we acknowledge your presence in our life, O oh God. In this in this moment of our life, O oh God Jesus, I believe that you are asking each one of us to make a decision, to make a choice, to follow you, O oh God. You are saying to us, there's still a decision, there's still time to follow you. If you, Lord, O oh God, is God that manifested in our life throughout the years that we know you, that we have a relationship with you, then put it to our hearts. Bring you our hearts, our spirit, to follow you, O God, Jesus, completely without hesitation, O God, without any other opinions or choices in our life, but completely to follow you. Lord, O God, Jesus, thank you, O God, Jesus, that you brought your word today. I believe, O God, Jesus, in, in your time, O God, you will make your word to your people, O God, completely visible, audible, Panginoon, O God in your revelation, O oh God, will clearly reveal to them. If we are completely, will follow you, we should not be in offense of whether we are going to follow or we are not going to follow. But we should make a decision to follow you and to serve you only. Lord, O oh God, thank you, O oh God, Jesus. Sa iyo po ang kapuriyan ng pasasalamat. We humble ourselves to you, O oh God. Let your word declare in us and be alive. To us. Thank you in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Everybody say Amen. Amen. Praise God.